Hello my friends, welcome to my channel once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create slice text effect inside of Affinity Studio, right? So I'm going to show you how you can use the tools to create slice effect. Without having to say much, let's jump right into this. So click on file and click on new. So I'm going to set my size to um, landscape. It's going to be 1920 by 1080. You can see I have by default and I have created this as one of my presets, right? So I'm just going to click on add boards to have add boards there, right? I'm going to fill my color with um, my ad board with the red color like this and um, for the background and yes switch over to the vector please I'm just going to go on to use my artistic text tool click on the page and I'm just going to type this so it's going to be sliced like this and I'm just going to go on to use my move tool to expand this. All right, I'm going to, just going to make it big like this. And I'm going to click on the white color, come here, and um, I'm going to go under recent. So these are the recent fonts that I've used. You can find that in yours if you have a preferred font. I'm going to use this. And um, under character, I'm going to change this. So this is going to be minus 25%. And um, I think minus 25 percent works for this while I make it bigger like this and move it to this point here. So click on the layers back so I can see what I'm doing in real time. I'm going to go over to the pencil tool. On that day, I'm going to find my knife tool. Hold down shift and uh, draw a straight line like this, right? You have to hold down shift to draw a straight line. Now click out and you can see that the you now have them separated right so you, i'll select this hold down shift select this select this select this select this and select this hold on um for this one it didn't quite cut it well so i'm going to select it alone and hold down shift and slice this well myself right so you have click and as you can see it has been sliced so i'm going to start hold down shift Click on this, hold down shift, select, 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 select. You can see I'm selecting all these on top. I'm just going to click here to add them. So it's now seen as one. So I have merged them with all of them and it's now one. So I'm going to do the same thing to, to this one here. And um, I'm just going to click on add. So it's just going to merge all of them into one instead of having different things all together. So with this one, I'm going to tilt it slightly to the left with my arrow key on my keyboard like this. Or you can use your mouse, but I prefer using my arrow key so I don't uh, move things out of a portion. So I'm going to come here under FX and I'm going to select Outer Shadow. I'm going to make a video to, that would cover everything under the FX and subsequently, right? So. Over here, I'm just going to make some adjustments. The blend mode is set to multiply. And um, I'm going to work with the offset to see which one works best. I think I might have to increase this just a bit like this. And um, while I play with my offsets, this is too much. So um, you can pay attention to this and um, of course to see what actually works for you. Right? But for this, I think I'm going to leave this here. And I'm just going to work on my radius. And um, you can even adjust your shapes while you are inside of the settings, guys. This is so amazing. This is something I couldn't do while I was using um, Corel Draw or Illustrator, right? So it's amazing what the team behind um, behind Sharif and Canva has done with affinity studio so you can position this world while you still adjust it so you can see how flexible it is and um, when you're done click on close and that's it easy peasy right but we're not done yet click on this one here and um, i'm going to make sure this is under because it's on top so i'm going to drag the layer here this is the shortcut and uh, you can see it's under the first one right just where it should be so with this tool selected i'm going to go over to my transparency tool like this and I'm going to drag from this part to this part to create a realistic effect. Like you have the one in front casting the shadow on top of it, 
right as you can see so i can move this and um just for a perfect sliced text effect i'm gonna click this get rid of this we don't need this in the scheme of things and um we have our slice text effects so i'm going to click on the add board tool to select the add board and i'm going to come here now over here where you have opacity when you click on it it's going to change to noise so very very intuitive i'm just going to bump this up i love this feature a lot right so i'm just going to bump this up to add some realistic noise to the background while i make it slightly darker and i'm going to switch back and make it darker this is too much i think somewhere around here is good and um, let's see okay this looks nice i'm just going to leave it like this and uh, switch back to my noise and reduce the noise just a bit so i'm trying to keep things realistic and um here you go your nice slice text effects right so i'm gonna move this to this side here uh, you can see that you can move it around and see actually what works best for you and i'm just going to go over to my text tool and um before i start typing or oh, i'm just going to write um type this test effect i'm going to use my move tool to make this smaller to make this smaller i'm going to change the font that i use of course recent so i don't go um toggling between all my fonts and um, most times that can be really really stressful so i really like what they did here on the character i'm just going to click on this and um, set it manually because you won't find 700 percent here i'm still going to increase this uh, maybe 3000 works okay good i think this works best for me and i'm just going to have this here like this all right guys if this video has helped you make sure you don't click out without giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i will push in a whole lot of videos out and that would fasten your learning affinity studio i'll see you in the next video